wrong in your calculation because obviously uh, it has to be negative so um, so let, let's just so we have done this example as well you can add up all these and you can get your answer now let's quickly do one final example which is of sodium oxide or Na2O so sodium oxide or Na2O so first we have in a solid plus no 2na solid because this time we have two moles we are using two moles 2na solid plus half o2 gas then we have to atomize sodium so we go up this gives some energy we give it some energy and we atomize the sodium so we have 2na gas plus Now this will be two times the enthalpy change of atomization of sodium because we have two moles. The enthalpy change of atomization was only valid for one mole, and uh, one mole, and this time we have two moles, so we have to multiply it by two. And that's why I wanted to do this example so that you don't get this wrong, so that you are aware of this. Then we have two N A gas. We we atomize the oxygen now plus O gas so this will straight away be the enthalpy change of atomization of oxygen because we are forming one mole of oxygen gas of, of, of gaseous oxygen atoms so this will be enthalpy change of atomization of oxygen directly now we go up sodium so we have 2 Na plus gas plus O gas plus 2 electri negative because we are 2 moles of sodium atoms so when we uh, make 2 moles of sodium ions we will be removing 2 moles of electrons obviously because that's only stoichiometric this is stoichiometrically correct so this will again now be 2 times the first ionization energy of sodium because uh, we have two moles and ionization energy was only valid for one mole so we have to multiply it, we have to multiply it by two first ie of na so this is twice of the first ionization energy of na <coughs> now uh, we go down and we have to give some electrons to oxygen so this will be 2 na plus gas plus O negative gas plus one mole of electrons so it has only taken one mole of electrons right now so this will be the first electron affinity first electron affinity of oxygen so first electron affinity of oxygen now since these are negatively charged I'll have to give energy to add the electrons to the O negative ions so just like the last example I give some energy in here energy was released first but now I'm giving energy to get 2 Na plus gas plus O2 negative gas so now we are ready with our ions all our ions so this is it for the ions we are ready with all our ions so now we go straight down and we get Na2 a solid so first let's label this second electron affinity this is this when we go up again and this is lattice energy of Na2 so we get Na2 solid lattice so this enthalpy change very exothermic because again we are going straight down so the arrow represents the direction of change so the, this is exothermic change because the arrow is going down on the energy scale or we can go down from here directly from the elements to get Na2O solid so I'm sorry I forgot to write the O over here so I'll write the O very quickly 